some photos of you guys and hopefully you guys take a couple selfies with you. And uh, that'll be it. All right, any questions before we end? No? Okay, this is great. Uh, this for, like court, first, this is like court, yeah, court, like, court, like, court in order. Last time, last time, last time, last time I was Johnny Carson. Remember, he told me that. Um, first question for you guys, um, and speak up, please. Um, <clears throat> will there be a reunion movie for the Ducks? Has anybody heard anything? We gotta get a bunch of NDAs. So. I think if we have everybody signing. Okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah. nothing ever was in the I mean, works. Scott, you know a little bit, like the same amount that I know. I yeah, right? Um, Variety Magazine, which is a big entertainment magazine, came out and with an article about a month ago or so saying that uh, that the Ducks show, a TV series had been sold to uh, ABC. Um, as you know, Disney owns ABC. And they're also coming out with a um, their own network, like Netflix, a Disney Netflix. Sort of thing. So maybe we would see something. I don't know if it would be a movie. I think I think if anything, it's going to be a reboot, like a okay, cool. yeah. new generation. Yeah it's, yeah, it's supposed to Sitcom. be like the uh, uh, where they make a movie and then they use that as like a pilot for yep. two seasons or three seasons of the show. And I, I do hear that it is that, and actually that Variety article killed, like made the deal hard, and that they were like close to closing it, and then that, like, wow, oh wow, came out and like leaked a little early, and then they backed up. So, uh, but it's in the works, and it's evidently supposed to be. Out of all three movies, Brandon, yeah. um, <laughs> what were some of the favorite moments behind the scenes for you guys? We can that's share. That's, that's G rated. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lunchtime was a lot of fun. Brandon would always put on the uh, goalie gear and we'd play pickup <laughs> hockey around the, the, sure. the, the, the camera equipment that was tucked up to the side. Yeah, really expensive camera equipment. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the fun thing about that movie, is that, you know, we were all young and just having fun. The work part was just something extra, you know, just having a good time. Yeah, lunchtime pickup hockey, that was the, yeah. So all you guys know how to play hockey beforehand? No. No? No, no we went to a hockey camp for uh, about four weeks. It was, yeah. I think it was Six. a long time. Yeah. 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 There was a guy, Jack White, who he played with a, one, of, one of the rats on the, the movie, the first one. Was he in the, was he in the second one? He was yeah. in all three, I Was he in all three, yeah? And he taught us all how to skate and play hockey. We'll make it look like we know how to skate and play hockey. <laughs> yeah. Close enough. Close enough, yeah. <laughs> Not one of you has ever played hockey. I did. You did? Yeah, I started when I was 10 years old when Gretzky announced he was coming down to LA and that became a huge thing. So I was like the first kid to get rollerblades in my neighborhood. And I was like, what's that? <laughs> uh, and, then, and then I saw the Mighty Ducks, uh, I saw the original movie in the theaters sitting there going, oh my God, because I was also into acting, and I was like, wow, acting and ice hockey, that would be like a dream job. And two weeks later, I was auditioning for the role of Portman uh, for uh, the Mighty Ducks. Uh -huh. And then I screen tested it against Aaron. <laughs> and then did you I'm guys a... fight, or did you, was it? Like, no, you... no, it was just, <laughs> was there was a like scene, wrestling match or something? there was a scene in a, the screen test was like, they built a little mini like dorm room or something, and they had a little bunk bed. And that's the only thing I remember. So I wanted to like sit on the top of the bar. I was like, oh, I want to climb up there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was just some scene. I don't even know what I can't remember. And then on the way home, my, my mom got a cage. So we pulled over, put the quarters in the machine. It was like, <laughs> and, uh, and they said, oh, you didn't put the Portman, but would you like the role of Gunner? I was like, yeah. Uh, no, I'm all set, thank you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, Portman. <laughs> All think, or nothing. <laughs> I think during the hockey camps, that was like the, uh, I mean, that that's also like, was, I mean, we would go to school like half the day, and then um, that's where we all like grew up together in a lot of ways. Like, you know, when you play team sports, um, you, uh, you bond. And, uh, and plus, we were all 15, 14, 13, 12, and all that. Uh, and Jack really like made us a team. And then people would come and play hockey with us, like I don't like. Well, you coach the whole free, league, yeah. right? Like, like, and then, but then, like all the actors and like, remember, like everybody wanted free ice time, so people would come and play with us. And we got to hold in nineteen eighty. I think for me, my favorite thing was holding that nineteen eighty Olympic gold medal because uh, a guy from that the, uh, the Miracle Team, like from Minnesota, came and skated with us. And, and I think Jack would just do like he would do these things. I remember one time he's, he wanted to make experiences. For he knew we were kids. And I thought that was pretty good. Now, looking back, yeah. like 
those things, and then like I think that's why we played pick up hockey, and that was like you know you were it was just the best, and we were just we were just having fun on the ice. You know? All right, so I'm gonna put you on the spot, Brandon. Get somebody, two people email this. Why was Jesse Hall not in the third movie? Like I said, I didn't know there was a third one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I don't remember. Uh, I think maybe I was working on something else, or maybe my agent tried to bump my you know, pay up or something. I don't know. <laughs> but it, it all worked out. You know, no love lost. I, I already know the answer to this, but um, do any cast members still keep in touch? And then what strong friendships were bond through the movies with you guys? Man, Brandon and I were married. That was a long time. Long time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, for how long? For how long it's been? I think it's been amazing how long the money yeah. shows like how strong the bond was. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I Garrett and Eldon and Fulton are brothers, and I've been tight with them my whole life. So you know, that's their time. Everybody moved yeah. to different places, yeah. different states. You know. We get together, it's like we have a skip a beat, man. It's, it's cool. Yeah, we were just saying, we were literally just saying that same thing over breakfast. We just picked up a conversation and we left off. Aaron, you work, you got to work with Ben Stiller, a Hall of Fame comedian and heavyweights. Yeah. What, was, what was he like on set? He was actually pretty diligent. He was kind of like a method actor. He was, uh, he was in character a lot, but he was really sweet, really nice to the kids. Fun to watch. It was kind of a learning experience to watch him because he was—he was actually pretty young. When I look back, I realized he was like 27 or 28 yeah. at the time. And now looking back, I, kind of, I, I see the work ethic that he had when he was. It was, it was just an option. Yeah. Scott, you've done over like 100 video games, voiceover stuff. How did you get into? I mean, Halo, Call of Duty, all this stuff. Like, what what, what got you into the whole voice acting? Um, I had always wanted to get into voice acting, and uh, a friend of mine who's a big voice actor, uh, there was an audition, they were, this is when flip phones were really popular, and they just started making mobile games, and EA Games was making a series of these Simpsons video games, and I had been doing voice of Homer for a long time just for fun, and so my friend knew I wanted to get into voice acting, so he called me up and said, hey, I know the casting lady, come over to my place, I'll record you. Um, and I'll send it over and whatever happens, happens. And I ended up booking that job, which led to a few of these jobs, voicing Homer. Um, and the rest is just history. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's, your, what's your favorite? Yeah. <laughs> so good. I had no idea. <laughs> I was hoping I didn't have to ask for it. That's oh, no, no, don't worry about it. I'll do it all day long. <laughs> uh, what's your what, favorite voice character you've ever had to do? Oh, uh, Scott White. <laughs> that was a pretty good one. I got to. They made a series. They made a uh, original Transformers game based on the original G One. If you're a fan or the, you know the original Transformers, and I'd always loved the voice of Starscream, who was also Cobra Commander. And he had a voice like this, and so I got to voice uh, Starscream for this game, which was a real throw ripper because everything is. You really have to yell and project to do that voice. And, but it was fun, and I wanted it, and I was like, please let me have this job, please. I was writing my agents, and then I finally booked it, and then I had to do like three, four hour sessions of screaming. And I was like, please get me out of this job, please don't have me do it again. Because <laughs> they were talking about doing another game that didn't work, but uh, it didn't happen. But, but yeah, so yeah, that was a good one. And then uh, I, I've been the voice of uh, George Bush for the Howard Stern Show. I'd always wanted to do voices for the Howard Stern Show. So a senior or junior? Uh, doing his book. So I'd do like these call-ins, and it was always a good time. And then, I, and then they come in to do Kim Jong-un, which was really rough, because oh my God. Cause I tried to do more or less like real impressions, and I was sending, I was listening to his clip, how would he speak if he was speaking English? And then they said, no, can you just do something a little bit more stereotypical? And I'm like, you mean something like this? And they're like, fantastic, you're in. I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> Best athlete out, out of the six of you guys on, on the skates and playing hockey. Yeah. 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 I, 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 I played play for my team afterwards. I thought I was the team. Didn't you play for a while? No. I did. I played all four years in high school. My team was terrible and I wasn't very good. 
<laughs> I was gonna play college hockey, but then I, really, I got a concussion, uh, and because I used to play for my high school team, uh, and uh, and I always wanted, I was never really good at any sport other than this one, and I remember uh, um, the day I got into Northwestern University, which was a dream come true. Um, I got nailed by a guy who was twice my size, which doesn't say much because I'm not very big. Um, and like they had, what are they smelling salts in me? Is it, I'm going to the this guy, right? And, they, and, I up, and I wake up on the ice, there's my dad standing, like, standing over him, and I knew it was bad because my dad had come down the stands. And uh, I can't say what I said because there's some kids there. Uh, but I, uh, and I, I had like 10 or two concussions that year, and then I realized that was when I was like, man, if I play college hockey, they're going to be bigger than me. And I was like, because I was always there. We were playing club hockey. That was that was the end of my my hockey. Club. I was like, oh, maybe I should. Hey I man, know. I love playing I hockey though. Know. I, can't, I, can't, I can't love hockey. Some of the best times of my life. The biggest prankster on set. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm winning all of them. Right? <laughs> oh. Well, Emilio was was a was a close was second. A big prankster. And he learned that from like I remember one night when we like he did some outrageous stuff. Like he'd like take us to like. The go kart place the first day he showed up, right? Mm -hmm. Like the first day he shows up on Ducks One, he was the biggest star in like the world at the time, right? Or like to us. And and he shows up on day one and like springs us out of school, rents out a go kart slash like video gar arcade place. But um, and I remember he, he said he learned a prankster on set because that's what Sir Anthony Hopkins did. I remember he tell like, oh man, because he would tell jokes all the time. Like right when we were trying to be serious, but we really would make jokes. But you and you and him. Yeah, yeah, we, we did a lot of prank with me and him. Uh, uh, anyone you want to share? Um, <laughs> it, it was G rated. <laughs> it wasn't all G rated, man. I was, you know, I was advanced. <laughs> <laughs> See, at least now you know why you weren't in three. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you thought it was the agent. <laughs> <laughs> one, one, one more question for you, Brandon. 25 year anniversary for Sandlot this year. Right, right. How did you get the role of the, of the pitcher? Like, did, did you guys try out for each position or? Um, I, it was written that way. And um, uh, one of the audition, I got, I think I was one of the first ones hired. And um, I forget the picture that, the picture that he wanted me to pitch like. And so he wanted me to do this big kick up in the air, you know. One of his own heroes, the director, David Mickey Evans. And, um, and I wasn't contact, so I put on contact. It was somebody else, man. I can't remember. But, um, I don't know, it's a part of me too. And yeah, coming up on the 25th anniversary. Yeah. Uh, Aaron, you just didn't get a part in Guardians of the Galaxy too. Yeah, and I, I you want to talk about that at all? Yeah, it was great. I got to hang out with Kurt Russell for like two weeks. It was, it was one of the best times of my life. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was pretty awesome. Just literally just would do the scene back and back, back and back with Kurt Russell and hang out with him. I asked him every question about Tombstone that I could possibly find. <laughs> <laughs> and he answered. He was like, yeah, so it was probably it was like one of the best film experiences I've had. I'm in trouble in a little China. Oh, I mean, oh, I mean, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I was the whole opening. Yeah. 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 Any other things you guys want to share that, that, that a lot of people don't know about from the movies or uh, or just maybe like D two or D three? Has anybody got questions they didn't put on the list? I yeah, see. you guys. I tried, they were maybe a little shy. I tried, I tried, I tried to filter them out. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just if somebody was shy. Anybody has any, 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 <laughs> any other questions? Um, I do have a question though. I'm an actress. I do like community theater and everything. Um, and I know that for the part I just got, I had to do like a callback, stuff like that. I'm wondering if you guys do callbacks with the lighting up. True. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It's stressful. There were a lot of callbacks for yeah, callbacks, yeah. mixing and matching. They put different groups together and see how they played off each other. Was, the uh, first one was a little um, was a little more grown up in its original uh, rendition. I remember the, there were there was foul language in the first audition, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. like going way back to when um, was Goldberg was a Took. 
like there was foul language. The kids like it was it was a little uh, it was a little more PG thirteen, um, a little bit more of like a, a little bit more adult. Um, and so we went through so many callbacks that by the time we got to set, the script had changed. I mean, we it was originally called Bombay. Bombay, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody, yeah. Do you guys remember Lucky Ducks? Does anybody remember that? No. Yeah. I remember it was called Lucky Ducks when I first went into work. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I think the uh, a Took is the best because he was an Eskimo. You're right. I think that was yeah, the best. Yeah, the, the goal was, was Goldberg was a Took or a Took yeah. or whatever. Uh, Congrats on your role. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. What's the play? Um, the Adams Family Musical. Oh, nice. nice. Wow. Very cool. The yeah, one... callbacks can be a little like, you know, it's hard to, to not go into the whole feature yeah. of it all. Yeah. The key is to audition them. Yes. yes. Oh, I like that. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> one, one, one more question, guys. Anybody? Guys, kids. You guys are kids. You guys are young. Time. So after the movie was all done and trying to get back into reality, how'd that work? Mm. So like, when, just trying to get back into normal. Still trying to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just trying to try to get back into like going back to normal school and, and how'd that work out? Mm. Yeah, it was sort of impossible, I guess. Yeah. You know, the movie was so big that everybody knew that I was in it. Right. You know? yeah. And the blue lagoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, you know, I don't know, I mean, you have your friends from before all that happened, right? So you hold on close to them and yeah. you just sort of ride it out. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's also like, you talk about the most awkward time of all our lives being a teenager in general, yeah. right? So you had that in there. Yeah, well, Garrett and I were talking about it last night. If you watched, especially the third one, and we're all sort of like weird and awkward, and shoulders are too big, and like, it's, it's definitely a weird time, that, especially the third one. I got the most popular girl to say yes to go to prom with me. <laughs> and then the second we got to prom, she just left. She like went off that way. I <laughs> like literally disappeared. So. Scott, I got one more question for you. I forgot. No, we're so, good. We're good on time. No, we're actually going. Go. Uh, so you had Gunnar Stahl in the second, and then you completely had a different role in the third one. A lot of people don't know that you had a different character in the third one. How did that? Part of me, how did that? I honestly still don't quite know. Um, well. Jordan our producer. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, uh, the producer Jordan was really nice with keeping everyone sort of like a family. In between the movies, we'd get together for lunch or something every few months or so. And then I randomly got the script in the mail one day, and I'm reading it, and I honestly thought that I was going to play a different character again <laughs> from what was labeled Scooter or Scott the goalie. And I didn't quite put two and two together. And I wrote Jordan and I was like, or I called him and said, hey, what role am I playing? And he said, you're playing Scott. And he wrote it for you. Oh, okay. And then, with, so there's another character in Ducks 3, this character called Crazy Dave, which was at the table read. He was like this stoner kind of, you know, hippie, drug kind of little whatever. <laughs> and so at the table read, they were just assigning people, if you guys remember that table read. Um, and uh, so they assigned the character to me to read that, and then Jordan afterwards, the producer, really liked it. And so I almost played a third character. The director said no, like he couldn't do it. He's already been Gunner, you're already doing this thing. But it went as far as there was like a secret, like I got called into a trailer one day, and they actually put like facial hair on me, put me in like a, like a, like a fat suit or something. Uh, they put a wig on me, sunglasses, and they filmed me doing an audition as a totally fake name, like different character. And Jordan went, he That's took incredible. the tape. I know, and he played, they played, he played the tape for, he said, we found Crazy Dave. And we, they, <laughs> he played the tape, and the director's like, look, I, that's Scott. I know it's <laughs> <laughs> I just not do this. But it was quite a fun, like, it was literally like people on walkie talkies, like, operation, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, like, I mean, it was like this really secret thing that they snuck around. Yeah. Yeah. And they ended up cutting, they shot, they hired someone and they shot, if, in Dust 3, there's all these scenes with the announcer kid. Um, oh, yeah. He's always he was on the Nickelodeon show. Yeah. 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 Uh, and, uh, and this crazy game is always sort of standing around him and like acting weird and all this stuff. They ended up cutting that whole role out of the movie. But, um, crazy crazy yeah. day. 
Crazy. I never heard of that. Yeah, yeah. If you go back, I mean, if you still well, have. Speaking of cut out of the movies, I think that I did a I did a TV thing on a Mark Marin show a little while ago, and 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 Mark goes, "Hey, Matt," and I'm like, and I remember he was in Ducks because him, Mark Marin, Peter Peter uh, <laughs> Peter Berg, the filmmaker who's been nominated for a bunch of Academy, he was an actor at the time, and Steve Brill, they were all in a one bedroom apartment. And uh, that's when Steve wrote Ducks, right? And it was this dark, <coughs> dark movie. Ducks was a really dark movie first, right? Before they turned it into the kid. And like, but uh, Mark, Mark, Mark says to me, and now, and you know, he's got the show, and he's got that podcast that was the invented all the podcasts. It's, you know, comedian. He's got the Netflix thing, all stuff. And uh, he, uh, and he goes, he goes, you know, I was in Ducks. I go. I was like, yeah, you were, weren't you? He goes, how was the the, uh, the valet when you guys were getting kicked out of Ducks too? And we went, uh, when we go to to the store to get the dresses and stuff. And Mark Mark was, uh, he goes, Steve will. It was his first job ever. And uh -huh. like, and, and, he, and I guess Steve goes, it's just Mark back off. You're scared of your ducks. <laughs> <laughs> and so he told me the whole story. I was like, he he, he got cut out because he was scary. He was just scary. Scary. The, talent. <laughs> the talent. The talent. Yeah. That's amazing. What's the most new information about this? Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. I'm a huge yeah. Mark Maron fan, so I didn't even know yeah. about that. Yeah, well, Mark's, crazy. yeah, and he, and he, that was his, and he told me, he goes, he goes, you don't know, man, that was my SAG. I was, when you join the union, it's a really, really big deal. And he was saying, that, that was his SAG card? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. All right, we're going to cut the panel, do some group photos, and uh, get you guys your, your autographs, man. Yeah.